what's up guys my name is frankness and i'm back today uh so like last time what we said we want to demonstrate how to input data or how to input uh to import data from another file into a coordinate file in sepa so what i have on my screen i still have my coordinate file here but it's an empty coordinate file and want to load some data and please if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and also leave a comment so let's jump into how to import data into our coordinate file so to import the data you have to go to file options then you click file options then you click import data from an ask file so from here you can click ok but we need to make sure that the file that we need to copy data from is also an ASK file. So I'll demonstrate how to have that ASK file. So to have an ASK file, we need to go to our text document. So I do have this file here. Let me open it. So this is a notepad file, which is a text file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy but which is an art file so you go to file then you click servers then from here we save it as an ask file so you say dot a s c then click save right so click yes so now i do have and ask file on my desktop so now let's go back to our sepak click file options again All right and now let's select that file so desktop chase then open so now click uh, tab separated because it's not a comma separated file so what it means here is that uh, column number one in our file is corresponding to this section here where it says name and uh, column number two is corresponding to the y coordinate which is also here so it goes up to column number eight if we have column number eight but it's going to add the data uh, corresponding to our coordinate file format here so we go ahead and click ok so we have successfully added uh, or imported our data into the coordinate file so I do have uh, 218 points added to the coordinate file from the file that we just created the ask file so we now have 218 points 1 up to 218 so this is how you import data into a coordinate file from an ask file so what we wanted to talk about next is how to do uh, join calculations uh, so please what you need to do is you need to find the distance and the directions so for you to calculate the joins uh, what you need to do is you go to general here then you go to join calculations so this is where you get to calculate your joints uh, you want to get uh, values in this section so you want to get the direction the horizontal distance the vertical angle the slope distance and the vertical difference vertical difference here there is the difference in height between the two points and also we've got the slope distance uh, we also have the vertical angle from our first point to the next point 
so to calculate the joins you simply need to click two points uh, from these points that are displayed here so let's say uh, I want to get the direction and the distance and the vertical angle from uh, slab one so you click slab one then the point is added in the first row then you click slab two the point is added into the second row then you see it calculates the direction uh, from slab one to slab two and uh, the horizontal distance from slab one to slab two and all other required uh, values there so you can see the vertical angle you can see see the slope distance the vertical difference as well so basically we need uh, direction the most for our orientation uh, especially when we're using uh, a total station or a theodolite when you want to orient to another point from one point to another uh, you need to orient so you need the direction so that you set it into your machine and then you do your field operations so basically this is how you get uh, the join from SEPAC using the coordinates so the coordinates are being used to calculate the direction and the distance between two points so now that you've known how to do join calculations using using sepac you can you can also want to calculate join between other points so what you need to do you go to next join and it clears uh, out so you'll be able to select uh, another set of points say ep1 and uh, ep2 so this is how you move on to calculate uh, a join for uh, a set of points you simply click next join and you click two points then you get your direction you get your distance so that's it guys uh, this is how to calculate the joints and uh, in our next video, we want to talk about how to create a general observation file uh, so that you'll be able to do polar calculations, you'll be able to do traversing, you'll be able to calculate uh, topographical data. So this is what we're going to be discussing in our next video. So please do check out my next video. I'm going to explain how to create that file and uh, do some other computations we might need to do resection intersection uh, using a general observation file so please do check out the next video so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and comment the video thank you